Well, hello there. My name is Maleva Sauda and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will take a look at installing the Power Automate desktop application into machine. Now, if you're having Windows 11 like me, you would have the Power Automate desktop built in. I would highly recommend you to first uninstall the Power Automate desktop that comes along with Windows 11 and then let's freshly install that. So first let's uninstall the Power Automate desktop. If you search for it, you will get the Power Automate. Click on uninstall. It will go to apps. Let me search for that app. It's Power Automate. Three dots, uninstall. Yes. Power Automate for desktop, uninstall. Click on uninstall. All right, so we have successfully uninstalled the Power Automate desktop. Click on close. Now head over to the Microsoft documentation install power automate scroll down you will see install power automate using the msi installer click on that it will start downloading let's wait for download to complete so it is completed 312 mb let's go ahead and run as an administrator and let's start installing now see it includes the power automate and the machine runtime apps click on next Install Power Automate Desktop, yes. Create a shortcut, well, okay. Install the files for enabling the UI automations in Java applets, yes, we want the UI automations as well. Enable the picture-in-picture -picture mode to run the attendant desktop flow in the background, yes, that's a good feature, we'll go with that as well. And of course, we need to select the terms and agreement. Click on Install. And we are good to go. We have successfully installed the Power Automate desktop. Now you see the first instruction enable the extensions. If you want to have the browser based automation, we need to enable the extensions. We can do it right here, right now, or we can even skip this for now and do it later. And that's what we'll prefer. We'll do it later. And let's go ahead and launch the app. All right, so Power Automate desktop is launching, getting things ready. And of course, I have to sign in. Let me sign in with the credentials. I'll select my account and sign in. All right, so we are in. We are in the Power Automate desktop. You can see home, my flows, shared with me, and so on. Okay, so we'll talk about this user interface and start creating the Power Automate desktop flow in the subsequent videos. I thank you so much for watching the video.